What's happening everyone? This video is going to be looking a wee bit different today. The reason why, we've got sick video behind the camera. So he's got his sick setup and sick rig and everything there, but we thought we'd give it a shot. In the new St. James's Centre car park, it is sick. The lighting is awesome, the place is so clean. Well, we've got the freshly detailed 123D. It's looking good, we've just given him a quick wipe over. Again, obviously not perfect, but hell of a lot better than it was before. We've also got Saints car here as well. So we've got the E-Class here. This thing is a shed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking. This is pretty sick. It's an what, E320? E320, yeah, E320. diesel. Uh, what is it, a 3 litre V6, right? Nah, 3.2, straight 3 .2 6. V6. The facelift were the V6. Straight 6. I'm wrong, forget that. The, the, the <laughs> facelifts were the 3 litre V6s. Uh, all I know is that mine has a V8. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this thing is quick. We've been out in this, and I tell you what, for a Merc, it's not usually a car that you see getting set, but the way that same drives is <laughs> sideways everywhere. The handles are awesome. Anyways, we're going to get a quick video of the cars. I hope you enjoy it. Right. Right, what have we got? Your car's looking too shitty. Now I'm freshly beaten. So, I'm gonna give your car a quick hand polish. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit more depth in the bodywork So, let's cool. get started. Let's do it. What have you got? <laughs> what have you not got? <laughs> Everything but my generator. Zane is on it. Listen, you've got to help me as well. Right? I need to hold this. <laughs> All that bacon. Look <laughs> at <laughs> these artists. That's the only rusty bit of this car. Oh wait, no, actually it is not. Because there's one more bit here. On this <laughs> roof for some reason. Yeah, that's not nice. So a bit of history about this car, I bought it from some Romanian dude in Glasgow. I gave him 1200 quid for it basically, and he gave me this. And I didn't realise the radio didn't work. I didn't check that shit first. Then what I had to do was find someone who knows what they're doing. Then we found out it was all fibre optic cables. Thanks to Harman Kardon. Yeah, thanks to Harman Kardon, you're right. And then Patrick, shout out to Patrick from couple hours <laughs> managed to fix it without using any skill at all. So cheap thanks. I was ready to pay a hundred quid to anyone because it was depressing. Maybe you know yourself my, what it's like. My uh, my amplifier and my S class is also uh, not working. Mm. Unfortunately that's not a simple fix like <laughs> like this one was. No no so that's not like at all. A, I think an amplifier for them even second hand is like six hundred pounds yeah. But, oh no, it's a good buy. I needed something, I wanted something automatic, rear wheel drive and big. And my dad had a couple of these. And I really kind of wanted one. And I seen this one for cheap, so I was like, well fuck it, why not? It looked good on photos. But then I, when I got there, I actually bought this at night, so I couldn't really see all the things that were disgusting on it. And I'm gonna show you them now. That would have put me off completely off buying it massive, I don't even know what this is, rust spot, just above the windshield. And then obviously the wheels looked good, but they're actually not. They're really scabby, really, they've been just rattle can painted. And someone actually went to the great extent to paint the AMG. Yeah, someone just painted that with a little tiny brush. It looks awful. 
and also we have this all around the arches. So yeah, not great. It's not the worst. I've certainly had a lot worse anyways from all the rust buckets that I've had. There's been plenty of them. There's been a lot of them. <laughs> Okay, so this is the interior of it, right? So that is from my daughter putting her feet on the dashboard. So if you're wondering why it's so dirty, it's because of her. Uh, anyway, pretty plain black leather interior, really automatic box, as you can see. It's got a little screen there. It's actually got a DVD player that works no problem. It actually fully works. Um, what else? I mean, it's pretty basic. It's got the Hammond card and sound system and stuff like that. It's got like a blind, electric blind at the back there. It goes up and down. I would recommend this car to anybody who has the fucking money to keep it. Because it costs a lot to maintain this fucking thing. I mean, that's if you're bothered about all the little things that go wrong, which is all the time. Um, Currently I have an electrical issue, which I can't figure out, which nobody can figure out. Um, and I thought replacing one of the batteries in this car would solve this issue, but it hasn't. Still don't know why it's half my shit in the car doesn't work. I can't put that blind down to, wash, to clean the back window. Aye. I'm happy with it. <laughs> That's very clean. Yeah, happy with that. Get some nice shots of it. Hope that gives you a good idea of what you can do with your car in a very short amount of time. What we're going to do now, we're going to get some good cinematic shots of both of the cars, just to give you guys an idea of what Saint Media is capable of. He's very talented. So we're currently on we're currently on a one of the quicker roads in Edinburgh called West Approach, the Western Approach, whatever you want to call it. And I'm gonna try and avoid getting spotted with this camera, but basically it's a dual carriageway and I'm assuming me and Zing are gonna send this these cars. Um so I'm just gonna wait. We've got a red light ahead 
I don't want to get spotted in case there's police or anything. So, I'm going to go green light now. Let's do it. Too much traffic as well, that's the only problem. There's too much people. Too many cars on the roads. Really send it. The best time of the day would be like middle of the night for this. So then you can properly send it. <laughs> Man's cruising. Are we gonna send it? You gonna send it? Yeah. How the fuck are we gonna send it? What do you mean? I'll send it into the back of that van then, aye. <laughs> That's a great shot, aye. <laughs> well, if we have enough space, right? If we have enough space. Yeah, yeah. And in the back of the post van. Unfortunately, we couldn't really send it much on this road. Um, just because it's too busy right now. But, um, fuck knows, I don't know where else we could. Maybe we could go and call the road. Call the road's a good wee road as well. Right, well, let me report back to you guys in a minute. Right, okay, so that's quite worrying because I thought you went missing. Where did you go? I went a different way. You got, you went straight? Yeah, I went and straight. And you got stuck at the uh, end? I got stuck where all the other people uh -huh. decided to go the same way. Oh, right, so, okay. Yeah, nah, you took the right way. I took the right way. I told you, you should have just followed me, bro. See, I'm always right. You <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> you fucked up. You should have just followed me. Yeah. But you know, I'm always right. Anyways, we'll get you guys back at the studio. Peace. Peace. Alright guys, back in my studio. Didn't manage to record a wee outro for that one. We ended up spending the majority of the time chilling, playing Xbox, had some food, chilling with me. I hope you guys enjoyed that. It was just a wee good look into what you can do with a quick 20 minutes, half an hour with your car. Also, quality of this video is obviously a lot better. Not now, because we're using my Android phone. Again, it's impressive what you're able to do when you've got the right equipment. And Saint Media is absolutely amazing with what he does. Check out his page, check out his car videos and stuff like you've seen with my E32. It's absolutely amazing. And it just keeps on getting better. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time, got some updates coming for the 123D, some new parts for that. Stick around, like, subscribe, peace out. See you in the next one.